Hey guys, it's Suzanne. I'm back with uh, part two of my Dollar Tree haul for um, July so far this month. You know I'll be back there before month end. So this is kind of my household items. Um, we'll hop into it here. I picked up the Breezy um, fabric softener sheets. And this is the fresh linen. There's 55 sheets in there. I have not used this brand before, so I'm anxious to give that a try and see how well they work. I also picked up a scrub brush. Um, I liked this one because it had the handle on it and also these bristles are super um, hard. So I think this will do the trick in the, um, scrubbing what I need to scrub with that. I was happy and excited to see that they had the home store brand uh, absorbing gel back in in the berry scent. Uh, last time I was in, they had a completely different brand. I had picked up the waterfall scent. It, it, it's okay, but this one is definitely my favorite. So I picked up two of those while I was in there. Moving on to some health and beauty items. I found the Nerds flavored lip balm. So I picked up two of those. I also picked up the LA Colors Nail Treatment. This is the Super Strength Formula. So I thought I would give that a try. It's supposed to also help prevent your nails from chipping, I guess, if you use it as a top coat. So got that. And then I also picked up this nail art pin. Um, it says it's in the blueberry scent. So I don't know if these normally have a scent to them or if that's just a, a funny name for it. I have never used these before um, so I'm anxious to see how creative I can be with that. Picked up a two pack of the Irish Spring in the original scent. They had the Assured brand aspirin in the 140 count so I grabbed those. And I also grabbed the antacid. Um, they're 60 chewable um, and I believe these are fruit flavored. And the other assured item I purchased was um, a bottle of witch hazel. So my grandmother always had this in the refrigerator. Um, and I used to put it on my mosquito bites all the time. And I remembered that when I saw it. So I wanted to grab that and see how that works out for me this summer. I also picked up a tube of sunscreen. This is the 30 um, SPF. Is the EAD brand and one big tube of petroleum jelly as well. I also found these cute little tissue packs. Um, there's eight individual packs in here. I I have that um, same design there on my uh, credit card wallet. Um, that I use for my store cards. So, but I've seen all of these um, patterns on different things. Actually, I bought um, duct tape with this pattern on it. So, anyhow, I also got my cousin a couple things. He already took the silly putty home with him. And the other thing I got for a rainy day craft is an origami um, paper folding kit. This one has the panda bears, lions, monkeys, um, elephants in there. So that'll be something we can do one weekend when it's rainy, which seems to be all the time here. <laughs> Got a few other things to show you. Um, I picked up a wall uh, creation sticker. I looked at this several times and never got it, but I think I finally decided I'm going to put it in my bathroom. It's got the dragonflies and the flowers on it. so. Anxious to do that and see how it turns out. And I also found the fruit infuser tumbler. So I picked up a green and purple. My store also had orange and blue. I would have liked to have seen a red, but um, I think the purple for sure I'll keep. I may give the green one away. We'll see. And then I also picked up several books. Um, this one by Lee Woodruff, um, Those We Love Most. It is a story about the heart of the family and marriage and what happens when something causes uh, the binds of those we love to, the ties that bind you to break. So that should be interesting. 
I also found this Willful Impropriety. There's 13 different tales in this book. And then uh, Private Eye by Harry Lipkin. This is about an 80, I think he said he's 86 year old Private Eye in Miami. And uh, he's working a client who um, has somebody stealing her priceless jewels from her. So any of the suspects could be the chauffeur, the butler, the maid, the chef, the gardener. So that should be fun to read. And then the last thing I purchased was this book by George